Alright, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be drawing cupcakes and using Andy Warhol as our art inspiration. Let's get going. Alright, if you guys don't know, Andy Warhol is a famous abstract or I should say modern artist. And uh, what he did was basically simple things based on advertising and repetition. So what I have here is an example of his famous Andy Warhol cans, not quite his Andy Warhol cans, but I'll post a picture maybe, uh, sorry, maybe uh, over here on this side. But um, basically what he did was when he was repeating a pattern, sometimes he would change the color or the hue. Uh, basically what hue means is, this is another fancy word for color. Uh, basically what he did was that he changed the color so each one was a little bit different. So over here I did an example of an ice cream in a cup. And then in the back, there's a couple other examples here. I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but it's Harry Potter repeating. And it was a worksheet that I saw. And uh, I used to do it with kids way back in the day. And basically we, we would color it differently. And then I would have a blank square so you guys can do your own. But since we are remote learning, we're gonna be doing it our own special way with cupcakes. So let's get going. So first of all, you're gonna need is a blank sheet of paper and something to draw with, such as a pencil, a pen, marker, crayon, anything will do. And the best way to do this is to make sure that you have uh, four separate sections. So if you have a blank sheet of paper, like a printer paper, it's really easy what to do. All you do is fold it in half, like a book, and then fold it again downwards, just like so. And then you should have four separate spots. But since I'm in my sketchbook, I am gonna divide it up a little bit more uh, evenly. So I'm gonna be using a marker and a ruler. So I have my border already set. I am going to create more of a border by making sure I divide this up a little bit better with a ruler. So maybe I'll go down and then I'll go side to side. All right, so I divided up my sections up into four, just like that. Then now what I'm gonna do now is to create an identical cupcake on each section. So I don't wanna make it different when it comes to its drawing and its appeal, but we will be coloring it differently each and every section. So again, as always, uh, I highly suggest you do this in pencil. However, uh, since we are on camera, I wanna make sure you guys can see it from your perspective. So I will be doing this. I'll be doing this uh, with marker instead. So here we go. This thing is my way. Let's just point this down and move this upwards. I gotta fix this. Maybe there's a better way how to make this so it's not in my way. Can you guys see the microphone on the camera? No, it's all good. All right, so here we go. Uh, this is an old cupcake I used to do with fifth grade. Uh, I kind of took it off the roster because it was kind of too easy for them. Uh, I might bump it down to kindergarten all the way, but um, I think this will be a better way to learn the process. So here we go. So I want to draw the cupcake, uh, but there is a specific way how to draw it so it's a little bit easier. So instead of drawing the cupcake on the bottom first, like how normally some, sometimes people do, I like to draw the top portion of the cupcake first. So I'm just going to draw a light curve, kind of like a smile, right in the middle like that. And since I'm on that step, I might as well do it for every single uh, section I have. So I'm just going to do this little bit of a smile in each section, just like that. Make sure the line is a little bit wide. You don't want to make like an actual U. I'm gonna make sure it's wide. And then I'm gonna curve each side. So it looks kinda of like a hot dog. Or like a hot dog that has like the top part missing. Just like this. And I'm gonna do that for every single one of mine. And then I'm gonna create two bumps on each of them. On the sides of each. So one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. It doesn't have to be perfect as long as it's going up that's all that matters so once it goes up all we have to do is a letter s to make the curve and i'll show you guys how i do it so i'm going to start from the top and i'm going to make my s attached to the right side like that so you guys know how to make an s right so here's my s s and letter s Ta-da! and then i gotta connect this part of the s to this curve right here so in order to do that i'm gonna curve like a letter c there we go. Letter C, letter C, letter C, and letter C. If you did do this in pencil and you wanted to add like a cherry on top, you could do that. But since I did it in marker, I don't think I have the opportunity to do it. 
unless I want to put it somewhere else. Maybe I'll put it on the background. But for now, it's good without a, uh, a cherry on top. So next step is the cup itself. I don't want it to look like a cylinder, like, uh, I don't know, like a weird shaped can. I don't want that to happen. And I don't want it to look like a milkshake. So you don't want to go too tall either. So in order to prevent that, all I'm going to do is a smaller smile, a little bit lower, where the cupcake is, on all of them, just like so. And then I'm going to connect that bottom line I just did to the first smile line I did earlier. Make sure you don't go to the end of the, like where that hot dog line is or that curved line is. You don't want to go there. You want to make sure you go a little bit inwards. Right there is a good spot. All right. And then to symbolize these little kind of lines right here to make sure you guys understand the texture of the cupcake wrapper itself, I like to either do upside down U's or regular U's to symbolize that happening. So I'm going to do just regular U's, just like this. Or like they look like V's kind of, now that I think about it. But I'm going to do that in every single one of my cupcakes. Let's see how many do I have here. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm not going to try to measure it out. I'm just going to kind of go until I run out of space. Here we go. Use, use, and use. All right, and I'm going to finish this off by doing it on every single one of them. Just like so. All right, that is all done. All right, next step is the ground or the table where it's sitting on so it doesn't look so weird that it's like floating in midair. So that's represented in this picture by the split between the blue and the green on this photo. But uh, we don't have any way to do that over here. So let's just draw a straight line and then making sure that you are hitting the cupcake. Pretend that the line keeps going, but don't draw on the cupcake and then continue on the other side. Done. So we're going to do that for every single cupcake. The left and the right or side to side pictures will always connect. So I might as well keep going like that. There we are. Perfect. So if you do want to add a, a cherry on top, you can. Um, I don't think I will. You know what? I will do it. I'm going to put it right here. Whoop! Right in the back. So I'm going to make sure that these are all connected properly. And since I don't want to change the color of the cherry, I'll keep my cherries red. Here we are. All right. Now here comes the fun part. This is when you guys get to change the cupcakes to your liking. So. Um, if you want to add frosting or sprinkles, you can. Um, but what I'm going to do to make sure it's all different, I'm going to do all the tables first. So I'm going to choose random colors here. Uh, this first color is, let's see, blue violet. That'd be kind of cool over here. So again, I'm doing all the tables first. And I'm going to try to do my best to try to stay in the lines. Uh, if you see me getting out of the lines though, uh, uh, though it's okay. It's okay to make mistakes. Mr. No makes mistakes, so you guys can make mistakes. Here we are. Let's choose a different color for the next floor. Ooh, that's a nice, pretty uh, red violet. Good job. All right. I like how I'm cheering myself on. I don't normally do that. I'm sure you guys can do that too. All right, there we go. I'm going to do the next floor. Let's do a blue violet, I think. No, blue green. Let's do blue green. That'll be fun. All right. Just like so. I'm going to fix it a little bit. There we are. Next one, I'm going to do, why don't I do, um, let's see, what haven't I done yet? Red orange? Let's do red orange. There we are. Alright, for the cups themselves, I'm going to use primary, secondary colors. So why don't I make this cup yellow? To match the one I have over here. That'd be kind of cool. Why don't I make this one red over here to match the cherry on top? Why don't I do this one blue since the background or the floor is red so the blue will stand out a lot more. And then why don't I choose this one to be a nice green. There we are. Cool. All left is the background and the actual frosting itself or cupcake itself. All right, so why don't I choose different backgrounds for each of them? I'm going to do orange over here. Ooh, this looks really good so far. 
I'm gonna do, let's see, I guess I could do um, green over here, I guess. That'd look kind of cool. Yeah, I like that a lot. Um, why don't I do, let's see. Hmm. I haven't done yellow in a background yet. But I did do yellow over there. But this will be pretty cool, right? Sweet. All right. And then last but not least is this background over here. Why don't I do... Hmm. I don't want to do lime green. I don't want to do that color either. Why don't I do... Uh, let's see. Did I do red orange yet? Or red violet yet? I did. Try to there. It's too close. Hmm. Blue violet? That's yeah, that color right there. <laughs> what color didn't I do yet? Right, I guess I'll do this one. Blue green. I'll do blue green right here. All right, awesome. I'm almost tempted to leave it alone, but I'm gonna keep going. <laughs> All right, let's see. Why don't I do a lime color right here? So this yellow green. Ooh, spooky. Why don't I do a yellow in this one? I'm gonna do a blue on this one. And for this last one, it's looked like it's looked like it's call, calling the color orange right here. All right. All right. I think I'm done. If I wanted to outline the edges with black, I could. But I tried to copy the fact that if you has, guys had a normal sheet of paper, so it's kind of almost the same. But anyways, uh, that's the activity. So hopefully you guys enjoy this one. I'm sure I did. And I'll see you guys next video. Or on Wednesday. <laughs> Alright, bye-bye.